All right, today we're going to be taking this lever off of this door. It is a standard lever. We're going to be switching that to the digital keypad. So first we'll remove the lever. And that means by inserting a pick tool into the receiver hole removing handle, rotate the bows, and we'll remove those two screws and that will pull the lock. And there you go. We're going to also remove those two screws there and pull the strike. And there is the unprepped door. The next thing we're going to need to do is use our handy dandy painter's tape to run the template for the door. These templates are very easy to do. You just have to mark and look and mark and look. Make sure you pull your parts. There's your parts explosion there. Find out what's going through the door. And drill accordingly. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm prepping. So we're gonna, we have the outside of the digital lock here. This is gonna be a standard Schlage install here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lever on, as you can see, with the clasp or the security hasp there. It slides down on, onto like that. And that's which way it's gonna go on the door, so I don't need to rehand it. So if you're looking at the video for that, the rehanding instructions are in there, are in the box. Then you're gonna remove the screws out of the unit and actually set the clutch in the proper position. Just make sure that you take good pictures before you start disassembling anything. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I've got two doors today, so if the next door needs to be rehanded, then uh, I'll get that video as well. But what we're going to do is now we're going to take the key. Pull it from the lock there. Insert it into the lever. A lot of the times with Schlage, you're going to have to turn the key when installing, which may be the case here. So we'll get it. We'll get the cylinder turned, but maybe not. You can insert a. You can see here. You may have to insert. to insert a pick tool to get it down on there we'll see okay as you can see I have got my template taped to the door with my blue painters tape I always cut the door handle out so that I can get it nice and centered I've also placed the lock up against there to measure now I'm gonna take my center punch and punch my holes Which will be here. Here. And into the upper left. Notice how I verified it again. And we're going to go here. gonna give us our mount points here we go and as you can see you get your holes drilled through and everything should line right up now you can just install the lock on the door as you would any other it's got a few parts and pieces but nothing that your diagram is not gonna leave you failing on just cheat and read cheat and read here we are every time Nice. All right, so as you can see, we have the lock assembled to the door. Those are our two mounting holes there. 
with the third one that lets the wire through. Here's the outside unit here. I'm going to now hook up the battery pack and test for function. And we got her good to go. Yes, sir. And uh, make sure when you put the battery pack in, it is, uh, I wouldn't say keyed to go in a certain way, but as you can see, this has offset holes. And you want to mark that because if you put one on the top, it is going to interfere with the hole here. So you'll be mounting the battery here and here. That way you have another hole for the cover plate. And that's it. Good to go.